Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to react to one of the suggestions. There was a suggestion to me on Instagram. Extremely funny fairy tale in the Bible. I meant to that. This better be funny. Guys, let's get straight into this. Welcome to Incognito Islamic Productions. Then we read incredulous, incredulous fairy tales by God. Incredulous. In the book of God. I'm reading from the book of Judges, chapter 15, verse 15 and 16. He found a fresh jawbone of a donkey, who Samson, the same Samson, you know, who went to Gaza, his exploit. Now he finds a fresh jawbone of a donkey, you know, this jawbone of a donkey. Reached out his hand and took it, and he killed 1,000 Palestinians with it, with the jawbone of a donkey. I'm asking, Shorosh. This one Jew boy, he killed 1,000 of you people. Damn it all, why didn't you run away, man? Why are you? And with the job of a donkey, how did he do it? 1,000. What, they were lined up? Even if they were lined up, then where do you hit the guy? One, two, three, four. Can you imagine killing 1,000 people with the job of a donkey? And then he sings a song. Listen to his song. Then Samson said, he sang, with the jawbone of a donkey, heaps upon heaps, with the jawbone of a donkey, I have slain a thousand men. I said, look, in Greek fairy tales, you don't find this. Huh? You believe that? It was a film goer at one time. So, this Samson fellow, now he goes, Judges, book of Judges, chapter 15, verses 4 and 5, he says, Then Samson went and caught 300 foxes. You know it's a fox? You can't catch 300 tame dogs, you know that? <laughs> if you try to catch a chicken, chicken in the chicken run. Do you know, one chicken. This guy, Samson, he went and caught 300 foxes. Listen now. Hmm. And what he did with them? And he turned them tail to tail. Took two tails, you know, maybe male and female, he tied them up. Male and female, tied them up. He tied them tail to tail. Two, 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 two. So he made 150 pairs. Then he put fire between the tails. And he told them to go for the fields of the Palestinians. And they went. And they set fire to the Palestinian groves and olive groves and, and wheat and all that. These foxes, poor thing when you tie them, you look, fox, fox, you know what's a fox? Wild things, man. You know, you can't even train dogs to do that. You know, you tie their tails, they want to run one either way. But here he tied them up, two, 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 he made 150 pairs. And then he put fire, 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 and he told them where to go and they went. <laughs> I said, you know the Greek gods couldn't do anything like that. <laughs> then I said, you Palestinians, very valuable people. You know your foreskin, foreskin. You know we do khatna. You know khatna? Circumcision. Circumcision. Circum means right round and scission means to cut. You know, the skin. Now, it's very worth, it's a valuable thing for dowry. You want to get married? You want to marry a king's daughter? For dowry, those skins. If I had time, I'll tell you a joke about the Jew, you know, how he was catching fish with it. But we don't know the time. <laughs> 1 Samuel, book of Samuel, chapter 18, verse 27, it says, Therefore David arose and went, he and his men, and killed 200 men of the Palestinians. These Palestinians are there, they're just ready to be killed. <laughs> That's their destiny. Allah, as if he's got destiny for them. You just get killed by the Jews. Now he goes and kills 200 Palestinians. And David brought the four skins, the skin in the front he brought, and they gave them in full count, one, two, three, four. He counted out his dowry, 200, to marry the king's daughter, Mishal. He married Mishal, 200, one, two, like one pound, two, one round, two round, three round. He gave out this, in full count, exactly 200, not 199, 200. We were paid out in full. I said, you Palestinians, man, what is God got stored in for you? What has he got for you? Aha, uh -huh. you know, God Almighty, he hates them so much, these Palestinians, according to the book, according to this Jewish book, the Bible. He tells them, he says, look, telling the Jews, you kill the Palestinians, men, women and children. Nothing that breeds must live. 
even ox and camel and sheep and goat and donkey. Even donkeys are not to be spared. I said, what has the poor donkey done? Huh? Look, imagine, God Almighty, he hates the Palestinians so much that even the Palestinian donkey must not be spared. <laughs> but now God is more merciful. On this occasion, this one occasion, in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, God says, now, you must only save for yourself virgins of the Palestinians. You see, little children, kill them. Suckling, kill them. Because you've got no time to rear them. You have a boy or a girl, kill them. Little children. Male, female, kill them. Because you save a girl. Man, you're going to start by the time she's 14. You know, amount of food and shelter and protection you give her. A waste of time. Destroy them. Kill them all. But when they are ready, 14, 15, 16, yes. Now those, also you must be on guard that they must be virgins. Yes. Which no man had known sexually. Soldiers in the field are given instructions. Look, when you see a Palestinian girl, you must verify that she is a virgin. The only way is to rape and ravage her. Ravish her. There's no other way. For a soldier, how is he going to find out whether the woman is a young girl is a virgin or not? And if they found she is not a virgin, chop off her head. Not virgin, chop off her head. And they saved for themselves that. 32,000 women which no man had known when they were the first to rape and ravish. How many? 32,000. How many they murdered? It doesn't say. 32,000. God giving such instructions. Hmm? Can you imagine any nation on earth giving such instructions to the soldiers that when you meet, you know, of your enemy nation, when you meet young women, verify. Rape and ravish them. That's the only way you can verify. And once you verify that, then mm, this was too easy, it's a chopped off of the heads. <laughs> but you know, God Almighty, He also wants to share. God wants to share now out of that, the raped and ravished women of the Palestinians. He loves them so much. So it says here, and 30 and 2 was for the Lord. I'm asking, what does the Lord do with raped and ravished women? <laughs> huh? What does God do with them? You tell me. Little wonder Allah says, For we lullil lazina yaktubun al kitaba bi aidim. So woe to them who write the book with their own hands. Thumma yakuluna haza min indillah. Then says, This is from Allah. Liyashtarubihi thamanan kalila. That they may reap from it some small reward, some small benefit. Wa we lullam mimma kataba daidihim. Wa we lullam mimma yaksibun. And woe to them for what their hands do write. And woe to them for what they earn. Hmm. Guys, this made a lot of sense if I want to be honest and. You got me thinking, I haven't read this but like it's there and oh, I won't say the book said now I just can't say what I want to say but guys yeah, like the last video I said I feel it's time for me to be the Korean myself and my friend Tala actually made me download it and I read a few pages but I think I have to read it I I just have to. Guys, I think what you think about the video, just like, share, comment, channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Best.